In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to update the main core for the Chameleon itself. You can think of it like a firmware, but they call it a core. So this is the core for the Chameleon itself, which includes the menu and the C64 core. First off, you're going to need to know if you have a version 1 or version 2. I've already done a video on that, and you'll see a card on the screen right about now. But for a quick refresher, if yours looks like this, you have a version 2. If yours looks like this and uses a breakout cable, you have a version 1. My three soldiers, aren't they pretty? Anyhow, if you do the method I'm about to show you, you don't have to worry about version 1 or version 2 if you use the, me the method I'm about to show you. Otherwise, you will. The reason I explained a minute ago the difference is for any other core you do, um, you're going to use, have to use Chaco, and you're definitely going to have to choose the right version 1 or version 2 core for the chameleon you have. Anyhow, this method, you don't have to worry about it, but usually you do. As I make this video, the latest update is 9Q. This version 1 is my personal long time one, and it's already up to date. This version 2 is a loner. And I do not believe it's up to date, so I'm going to use this version 2 to demonstrate. Okay, what I'm about to show you is really dead easy. Right now I'm plugged in cart mode simply because that's the easiest way f with my capture hardware right now. You can do this in standalone also. You can do it with or without a dock. First off, we need to check what core version I have on mine, and you need to do the same on yours. Find out what core version you have. So go ahead and boot into your Turbo Chameleon, and then go down to System Info. Okay, this one has Beta 9i. The latest is 9q, so this needs to be updated. If you don't have 9q on yours, I recommend you update going to need an SD card, any SD card. Don't need a lot of the size at all, but just one you can put data on. So we're going to go over to the PC and move that data over. Go ahead and put that SD card into your reader on your PC. Okay, now navigate over to wiki.icomp.de and you see slash wiki slash chameleon. That's the page we want. So go ahead and click on updates. And you see the latest is beta 9Q. Let's download that somewhere. And let's go ahead and, well, you can put it on that SD card or your downloads, wherever, just where you know it is. And let's show in folder. As soon as this is done, it'll show us a zip file. Okay, it's done. Let's extract here. Housekeeping, you can get rid of that. Okay, go in that chameleon folder. All we need is the update folder and the update.prg. So just copy those two. What you can do is you know, click once on update, then hold down control, click once, and then you can right click and cut or copy. And bring it over to your SD card and paste. Okay, everything else is unnecessary for house cleaning. You can get rid of that folder. All right, you're about to see just how dead easy this is. Go ahead and eject. Take that SD card back over to your chameleon. Put that SD card into your chameleon. Let's boot her up. And it's updating. And hit any key. And let's check. Go in your system info. And voila, you have 9Q. You are up to date as of today. 
Now I'll say let's just do a little housekeeping. Let's bring that SD card back over to the PC for the easiest way. Alright, put your SD card back in the PC. And all I would say is just go ahead and delete that. You don't need that update folder there, it's just taking space. And that's it. You can eject that now. Go back to your uh, Chameleon and use it with the most recent Chameleon Core. If you like content like this, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And then just a reminder for people who like additional cores. This core is by Icon themselves because it's the main one. But additional cores like the new Pac-Man core, the Mini Meg core, all the different cores. Go over to Cores for Chameleon and show Alistair some love. Anyhow, thank you. I'll see you on the next one.